Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and I want to show you how you can use two instances of AI Skin Enhancer with Luminar 4. This is the beta of Luminar 4, and it will work as both a plugin and as a standalone application. To start, I'll switch to the portrait group and take advantage of two key controls, AI Skin Defects Removal and an Amount Slider. Now, to best judge this, I suggest you view the image at 100% or even 200% so you can really get a pretty good idea of what it's looking like. In this case, I'm happy with the overall smoothing and the small blemish removal is working nicely. Now, let's enhance this just a little bit. We'll switch on over to the Essentials group and using Structure, I can put a little bit of detail in there and you see it improves the overall separation and really helps with nicely bringing out some of the color on the hair. Now, all in all, this is looking very solid. We could, of course, take advantage of other controls under the Portrait Enhancer group. For example, I'll just very quickly take the Eye Enhancer to bring those eyes to life and put a little bit of whiteness into the eyes, and that's a very quick and solid adjustment. But I notice that with this image, there is a little bit of heat rash down here on the chest and perhaps some abrasions from clothing that left a few small scratches. So I want to be a little bit more aggressive and take some of those blemishes out. What I can do is add another layer and just click to add a second adjustment layer. Now I want to be very specific where this goes so I'll take advantage of the mask here and choose a gradient mask. This allows me to specify a transition zone. And what I'll do is set this to go slowly and gradually from the neck down. If I want, I can toggle to see that very clearly with the mask controls. Now, with that adjustment layer, let's rename that. And I'll call this lower torso. All of my same controls are available. So we can zoom in here and pan down to take a look at the skin on the chest. Using the AI Skin Enhancer, I could take a second pass with defects removal and increase the amount. And you see that it's smoothing the skin very aggressively, but still quite nicely with no loss of detail here in the hair with that gradual transition. If we look at layers, we can just toggle that on and off and you see it did a nice job of improving the skin. If I'm satisfied, I can now easily create a new stamp layer, which combines all of those to a new merged layer. Now with that stamp layer selected, you can go in and easily make any tweaks. For example, a little balance there with Accent AI. And I'm going to blur the image just a little bit with some minus structure. Notice that the skin and hair are left unaffected, which is great. And we can just pull down some of that color cast. And from the light category, push the whites there just a little bit. And let's finish that off with a gentle vignette. If we toggle, you can see the before and after. And the skin has been easily smoothed in a believable way. 